What is up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Stethman123 and I'm going to be bringing you a PvP video for Star Wars The Old Republic. So what you're seeing at the minute is me on a swoop bike, I'm heading to the PvP starting area which is where everybody spawns, this is pretty much your first spawn, your ride into the um, encampment. So we'll be there in a minute. One thing I should mention is that the graphics, I don't know why, but they seem a little bit better in the next beta release, which I have some videos of and I will put up later. So yeah, this is PvP and I'm playing a level 11 bounty hunter. And these are the people that I'll be fighting alongside. This you can see here is a PvP droid vendor. They sell all sorts of stuff. They sell stim packs, um, stat boosting stuff. Heal potions, which are stim packs, um, mercenary commendations, which can be spent on gear, all sorts of stuff. They sell these nifty little boxes as well that you open and you get some like PvP specific healing gear and stuff out of, and you also get a random item out of it, which is pretty cool. So this that you're seeing here is the force field, which it pretty much acts as the respawn control. Once the force field goes down, we can run in and we can shoot shit up, which is pretty cool. Monster, drink of the future. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. What the objective of this is, is to hold these doorways to start with. There's three points throughout this zone. And the defenders have to stop the attackers getting through each point. Um, to do that, you pretty much try and interrupt them when they're planting the bombs on the doors to blow them open. You kill them. In essence, if you kill them, you will win. But you've got to keep them away from them doors, because if they get through them doors, you're boned. Oh, and this is the um, epic bounty hunter move. Fly up on the jetpack, shoot rockets out of your guns. That, how, how can that not be cool? So anyway, yeah, this is my bounty hunt. This is actually my very first PvP match that I'm recording here. I'm sure it was my first. If not, it was my second, but it was a very early one. What you get in PvP is you get PvP commendations for different things. It might be defending an objective, um, killing X amount of players, all sorts of stuff like that. So the basic types are you get a commendation if you get a killing blow on an enemy. Like you've just seen there, that flash up there means that I've earned a commendation for a kill. You also get commendations for getting a thousand defense points on a defense map, which pretty much means standing next to the turrets on one of the PvP maps and stopping the enemy taking them. You, there's all sorts of ways to get commendations, and they can be spent on a PvP specific gear. Most of the PvP gear is at level 50, but like I say, you can get these boxes that give you random PvP items and also potions and stuff to use in PvP. I should stop saying potions, it's because I've played EverQuest 2 for years and they don't use potions in Star Wars, they use stim packs, what am I talking about? Anyway, so here we go, this is the epic move again. So, once, you, once you've got all this gear, obviously it makes you more powerful within PvP combat, but like most MMOs, um, the PvP gear isn't really designed for PvE. So as you can see, we've got four minutes on the clock left to hold these doors. And I think, I think they actually get through. There you go, another guy's got a commendation. You get that nice little hollow to let you know, and I died. So respawning is instant. You instantly respawn, and then you get stuck behind this barrier, and this is how they control the spawn rates within this PvP zone. So pretty much we've got to wait for this white barrier to go down, and then we will be able to go through and own. So that's my basic buff, raises my endurance, and this is how I get my health back. Now health works in a funny way in Star Wars The Old Republic. You do regen over time, but it's very, very slow. To regen quickly, you've got to use this power which can only be used out of combat. And it's got a different animation for each of the classes. The smuggler flicks a coin off into the air and then shoots it at the air, and that regens her health every time she does it. But it can only be used out of combat.
So this this is about all PvP is on this map. Just as you see there, they've just planted the bomb. So me being a noob, I didn't know I should move to that bomb and probably defuse it. I just thought I'll kill this guy. It'll be fun. And then I realised that he's level 40 and I'm probably going to get him. There you see the doors blow up, that's because they've got three. They've now got three minutes to get through to the next place and try and blow the next place out. Now timing this works different to a lot of um, defend and attack of, um, objective games. You don't get additional time for taking an objective. Um, how it works is you've got a set amount of time and you have to get as far through as you can and then the round changes over and the defenders become the attackers and the attackers become the defenders and they have to try and beat how far you got through or complete the mission outright. So as you can see there's lots of sabers flying about. Now a good thing to do on this bit is once the bridge is down if you have an AoE knockback stand in the middle of the bridge and spam that shit because that will knock people off the bridge and instantly kill them. Just a little tip that I found out on my trooper. So as you can see the objective in this part is to get the bridge down to get across to those other doors so they can go and take them out and get through to the next area. Now the whole story behind this mission, yes even PvP has story in Star Wars The Old Republic, is that they found a ship floating out in space from the last great war and it holds advanced technology. Um, so we're pretty much trying to bust through this ship and get to the data court so we can download the information. Now the story behind the defenders is they got there first and they're already downloading the information. So the defenders are trying to hold it while their techs download this data. And in Star Wars The Old Republic at the moment there's three PvP war zones and a free floor war zone and an open world PvP zone. Now the open world and the free for all wall zone I can't comment on because I haven't seen them. Because I haven't reached high enough level, I'm enjoying the story content too much and rolling too many ults. Which I can see being a problem for me in this game because the story is just epic. So they've got this bridge down now, you see what I mean, the bridge is very thin. If you can stand in there with knockbacks and just keep knocking people off the bridge, you, you, you will get some damn high kills. One thing that I wasn't doing in this, which I should have been doing, is using my heal ability on allies when I wasn't in combat. And even even when I was, if I saw someone alive, I should have been clicking on them and healing. But healing I find very difficult in PvP because obviously you don't know where anybody is. Um, one of the good things is the boxes you'll see at the side sort of highlight a little bit more if people are closer to you. But still, there's no um, click over healing, so you can't click your name in the box and heal them or anything like that. So healing is very, very difficult in a PvP scenario because of the amount of people there are more than anything. In an instance, it's not too bad. You can cycle your F1 to through F6, and it works out pretty well. So we're rolling on the last 15 seconds here and I don't think they're going to take the next objective so we're just having an all out mosh in the middle of here. So let's talk a bit more about the dynamics of PvP. Um, with the PvP, it's pretty much the same as PvE combat. You've got, um, like with your smuggler, you've got your normal cover mechanics and stuff like that as you're playing. So the, the PvP is just really, really dynamic once it gets going. So as you can see now, we've um, switched sides and we're the attacking side, and we will be going in a second. So as you can see we've got 7 minutes to attack the same as the enemy had and we've just got to try and push through further than them. What you're going to notice as we go through this as well is the effects, some of the effects are absolutely beautiful like the Sith's lightning, it just looks epic. So there's some really cool stuff, the bounty hunter, you just saw his grapple, that's an iconic move from the movies, it's really cool that you can still use all these mechanics within PvP. The two other big things about PvP are the other war zones. I don't know which, whether I've talked about them yet because my memory sucks. But there's Hutball, which is more like an 
a sport, it's more like um, American football or death bowl within Warhammer and there's a turret map which is pretty much take the turrets, defend them, let the turrets blow up the enemy ship, if the enemy takes the turret back it turns and starts blowing up your ship. So that's pretty much the basics of that. As you can see here we, we're really struggling to get on this door, especially with that level 50 being there because every time somebody goes to take the door he just throws out something to interrupt them. And I mean an interrupt can be a normal shot when you're planting the bomb, so that kind of sucks. And as you'll see in a minute we all sort of gang up on him and try and take him down but it just takes so long it's ridiculous. But as I say it's not very often that level 50s will get thrown with you, in with you and I think it might just be because it's a beta build. Uh, because in the next stage of beta which I'm in currently um, I haven't seen a level 50 get thrown in with me. The highest I've seen, I'm level 30. Highest I've seen get thrown in with us is sort of level 20, I want, I want to say. So that's pretty cool, it evens the playing field a hell of a lot. But you do get this buff while in PvP that buffs you to, I think it's within 2% of the highest level character on the map. But again, the buff's okay, but you don't get the abilities that your character would have at that level. So it, it it buffs your current abilities, so they do more damage, it buffs your stats a bit, but without those high-end abilities, you, you struggle to take down people that are that higher level. And as you, as you can see, it's just it, they're just rocking on us at the minute. But let's, let's talk a bit more about the PvP gear as well. There is other PvP gear you can get. Um, I mean... To, to start in the lower levels you can start at level 14 I believe it is with 300 PvP commendations that um, you can buy your first PvP specific weapon off the um, weapon vendor next to the PvP mission terminal. So that's pretty cool, there is tiered stuff there. Armour wise I haven't found anywhere that sells under level 50 armour but I have been told by a reliable source that there is a place you can get it. He just didn't have time to show me where, so there's not a lot I can say about that, to be honest. Look at these effects, man. The effects get me every time. I mean, the gunshots and stuff just look so cool, and look, the lightning effects and stuff just look epic. The explosions, bing, bang, you don't get that in World of Warcraft or EverQuest 2. I mean, EverQuest 2 is a br uh, is a pretty pretty game for its age, but you don't get effects like that lightning. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. Makes you want to weep. Anyway, we're still pushing on the these doors, and we're going nowhere fast until that player manages to nuke them. And we are now moving through to the second area, and this gives us a chance to come back a, min a bit. We've only got 3 minutes and 25 seconds, but within that time, hopefully we can push one of these bridges out and get over there and get to the door. So as you see this guy here, he's trying to take another object, he's trying to push that pad so it puts the bridge up in the middle. And a very viable tactic for when that bridge goes up is if you have AoE knockback, stand in the middle of the bridge and just keep knocking people back. Because it's such a narrow platform, if you get knocked off it, you're dead. Simple as that. And there's that level 50 again. Just bangs out a cry grenade on me, he's like, subs fool. You, you wanna fight me? So I'm just like, no, no, no I, I don't wanna play with you, dude. Switch over to the level 11. <laughs> So you can see they've um, got that bridge down it, and like I said, that is so narrow, if you have AoE knockbacks, you can knock people straight off the edge of that bridge. I mean, if you're a Jedi Consular, you just stand in the middle of that bridge and throw out all the knockbacks you have, and you will, you will rack up kills. I mean, obviously, between your knockbacks, run in, try and take the objective, but stand there and knock the enemy back, because if you're the attacking side and you're knocking the defending side off before they can get to that door, you're leaving your teammates clear to open it. I, I, I'm knocked back, she should have used in the middle of bridge, because she should have killed. <laughs> Whereas there, she was just getting the melee guys off him. And as you can see, I've just tried to take the objective, I'm getting a bit panicky now, I'm like, there's only a minute and 50 seconds left, I must take the objective, and I get owned. But that's the way Stephen rocks. 
And there you go, I die yet again. Not surprising, because I'm not very good at PvP, but PvP in this game is just epic, I love it. There's not many games I've liked PvP in, but this is one of them. This Warhammer Online, that's, that's about it PvP-wise for me. I haven't PvP'd much in any other games, because I didn't enjoy it. As you can see, I'm, I'm diving through to the door, I want to take the door, open the door. And then that guy jumps on it first, so I turn around and try and shoot some people out. That uh, level 50's there again, he's just interrupted him. What a surprise. And as you can see, we're all wailing on him now. And his health is just going down so, so slowly, it's crawling. So there's not a lot we can do. We're getting him down, but it's taken a long time to do it. And then he runs off to try and regen. Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought he did. No, he dies. And we get on that door, but it's too late, they've got two other people just bum rushed us in. Level 37, which again, a bit too high for me to be killing. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And I, in, in a minute, I believe I just go in and run at the door and I'm like, screw it. We've got, we've got like 20 seconds left. Need to take this door down, dude. Keep them off me. You see the little level 11 having a crack at me, but there's too many of us there. Oh, there's a Jedi Consul coming, and she's throwing rocks at my face, and they hurt. But yeah, this is this is pretty much PvP, and I, I, I love it. Look at that lightning. How cool is that lightning? So yeah, I run in and get on the door in the last second. And it's like, we're, we're, we're not going to get the objective. Time was gone. And as you can see here, you've got an MVP voting system. You click one of the tags and give somebody an extra couple of commendations. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Steph Man. Um, if you like this video, please like it and leave me a comment. If you don't like it, leave me a comment. Tell me what you didn't like so I can fix it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. Final pose. <laughs> Love you.